Today I'm going to talk about the proven benefits of black seed and I'm going to start right after this. What is going on? My name is Abdul Bashawuth and welcome to another video and if this is your first time here consider subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. If you do a Google search or even do a YouTube search you will see a bunch of information on countless benefits of black seed. In this video I will be taking a closer look at the benefits of this magnificent supplement in light of available clinical studies. I searched for the clinical studies using PubMed, a free search engine that is maintained by US National Library of Medicine at the National Institute of Health. Uh, there are a couple of limitations on the clinical studies I want to call out, uh, such as duration of treatment. Uh, most of the clinical studies are short period of time. Uh, dose used varies from study to study, so there is no standard dose. Uh, quality of the clinical trials, some of them are open label, uh, some of them lack placebo control. Uh, sample sizes, uh, most of the clinical trials are small. And also another issue also has to do with the purity of the product. Uh, it may vary from country to country. I used the following filters in the PubMed. I used a keyword search, uh, black seed. Uh, the article type, I just limit to clinical trial and publication date. I just went back only from now to 10 years, only 10 years period and I also limited to only humans. I didn't do any, I, I'm not going to share with you any clinical trials done on animals. Okay, so the first study we're going to look at is uh, efficacy of black seed. Uh, it's also known as Nigella sativa on kidney stones dissolution. This is a randomized double-blind placebo controlled clinical trial. Uh, so the aim of the study is to evaluate the renal stone dissolution efficacy of black seed. Uh, there were 60 patients with renal stones who were randomly enrolled in two arms of a randomized triple blind placebo controlled clinical trial. Uh, patients were treated by black seed capsule 500 milligram or placebo two times per day for 10 weeks. Uh, the black seed group showed 44.4 percent excretion rate of the stones so they had a complete stone removal 44.4 percent compared to 15.3 percent of the placebo group uh, so the authors of this study concluded that uh, black seed compared to placebo demonstrated to have significant positive effects on the disappearance and reduction of size of the kidney stones. The second study looks at the effects of the uh, black seed on quality of life, uh, disease activity index, and some of inflammatory and oxidative stress factors uh, in patients with ul ulcerative colitis. Uh, again, the aim of the study is to evaluate the efficacy of black seed supplementations in patients with ulcerative colitis, uh, two grams of the black seed powder or placebo were consumed for uh, six weeks by 46 patients with active mild to moderate ulcerative colitis. Uh, using valid and common questionnaire of colitis se severity and blood sampling, uh, we estimated disease activity index, quality of life, and some of inflammatory and oxidative stress factors at baseline. Uh, this study found that there was no significant difference between the groups in serum total antioxidant capacity. Uh, total score of sample clinical colitis activity index questionnaire and inflammatory bowel disease questionnaire uh, there was no difference between the two groups, but however, they found a difference in terms of stool frequency score. Uh, it decreased significantly in patients uh, who were using the black seed compared to placebo. And the authors concluded that further clinical trials, probably with a larger number of patients, is needed uh, to determine efficacy uh, in ulcerative colitis. Third study uh, looks at the 
effects of the black seed oil in patients with uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Uh, 60 patients received 2.5 ml fully standardized uh, black seed oil every 12 hours and 60 other patients received placebo for three months. Uh, no side effects were experienced by any patients in the study and authors concluded that uh, black seed oil to be effective in Im improving uh, liver uh, steatosis and injury and blood levels of uh, triglycerides and LDL and HDL in patients with uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The next study looks at the effects of a combination of uh, black seed and Vitex agnus castus with citalopram. Uh, Vitex agnus castus is another supplement which is usually uh, used in the premenstrual syndrome and citalopram is an antidepressant drug which can be used for uh, treating heart flashes in menopausal women. So the aim of the study is to evaluate the efficacy of um, intervention consisting of a combination of the black seed and the vitex with citalopram in, in the control of, of heart flashes in healthy menopausal women. It's an eight-week double-blind randomized placebo control study uh, was performed among 46 women aged 40 to 60 years, experiencing an average of four heart flashes per day. At the end of the eight-week treatment period analysis of core var uh, variants demonstrated the superiority of the herbal combination with citalopram over placebo and citalopram. So basically the, the, the study was a uh, two group, two arm, uh, one arm received citalopram plus placebo and the second arm received citalopram plus the active uh, drugs that we are studying, which is the black seed and the vitex. And it shows that the uh, group which had the citalopram plus vitex plus black seed performed better than the group uh, with citalopram with placebo. Uh, here they said, based on the results, the addition of a combination of the black seed and the vitex uh, to the citalopram may be a potential clinical application for improving uh, therapeutic outcomes, but large randomized clinical trials are needed uh, to further, uh, for further investigation of these symptoms, basically. Uh, this uh, next study looks at the investigation of the effect of the black seed oil on pain in osteoarthritis uh, geriatric patients. These are all the patients. Uh, aim of the study is to investigate the analgesic effect of black seed oil in individuals with knee pain. Uh, this study has shown that the pain relieving properties of black cumin oil, which is another name for black seed oil is effective on geriatric individuals living with knee pain. Uh, this study I want to mention is a, is a small study, had only 30 patients who were in the active group and 30 patients who received, who are the control group or who received the placebo. This other study looks at the effects of the black seed extract extract for hypertension in elderly. This is a double-blind randomized controlled trial. Uh, here it says the aim of the study is to determine the effect of the black seed extract uh, to systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure in the elderly patients with hypertension. It's a double-blind randomized controlled trial. Uh, subjects were divided into intervention group given 300 milligrams of black seed extract twice daily for 28 days and the other group which was given placebo. Uh, of, of 85 patients, 76 patients fulfilled the study criteria and they were ra randomized into two groups. So it's about 36, 38 patients each group. Uh, they concluded that although a trend towards a, a slight decrease in blood pressure was observed, uh, the black seed has not been proven to be effective in reducing blood pressure in elderly patients with hypertension. So this study did not find a significant difference 
uh, between the group which received the black seed compared to the group which received a placebo. But just keep in mind these studies, pretty much all these studies we've been looking at, they have a small number of sample. The next one looks at the effect of an orally formulated processed black cumin uh, from Ira Iranian traditional medicine pharmacopoeia in relieving symptoms of knee osteoarthritis. It's a, prospect a prospective randomized double-blind placebo control trial. Uh, prospective randomized double-blind control, uh, control trial in order to investigate whether the herb is useful in alleviating the symptoms of knee osteoarthritis, American College of Rheumatology clinical criteria were the basis for the diagnosis and it showed no statistically significant between group differences. So this, this is another study which shows no benefit of the black seed compared to placebo in treating uh, osteoarthritis pain. Uh, knee pain, osteoarthritis knee pain. Uh, this study uh, looks at the effects of the black seed administration on prevention of febrile neutropenia during chemotherapy among children with brain tumors. So febrile means uh, fever and uh, neutropenia is the low count of the neutrophils which is part of the white blood count. So basically, if patients are getting chemotherapy, there is a suppression, a tendency of suppression of the white blood cells. And if these patients develop a fever, it's a sign of infection, and this can be serious. Uh, so uh, I say we study the effect on the present and the prevention of febrile neutropenia. So this one looks at the prevention of the febrile neutropenia in children with brain tumors. 80 children were studied and they concluded that black seed showed a decrease in incidence of febrile neutropenia in children with brain tumors with shortening of subsequent uh, length of stay in the hospital which may improve their outcome and therapy and thereby quality of life. But large scale, large scale studies are needed to further evaluate uh, the seed's potential. Uh, this study looks at the safety and efficacy of polyherbal formulation for the management of uh, dyslipidemia and hyperglycemia, which is the high uh, glucose, in patients with advanced stage 2 diabetes. So this is a concussion of many natural products, including black seed, to evaluate the safety and efficacy of the polyherbal formulation consisting of these all these aloe vera, uh, nigella sativa, uh, plantiago psyllium, and all these other products here uh, for the high lipids and high glucose level in patients with advanced stage 2 diabetes. It's an open label phase 1 trial uh, which was carried out on 30 patients and they concluded that the present results demonstrated that uh, the polyarbol formulation was safe and efficacious in lowering the levels of blood glucose and serum lipids in patients with advanced stage 2 diabetes. So when they do studies like this, it's kind of hard to tell which of these uh, products was uh, most effective compared to the other ones because they combine like five or six different uh, supplements together. And the last one, they look at the effect of the black seed uh, in patients with asthma. It's a randomized control trial. So to determine the effect of the black seed supplementation on inflammation of the airways and limitation of airway in partly controlled asthma patients. Uh, patients were divided into three groups. A control group considered of 24 patients uh, received the placebo while uh, second group one and group two who received the active drug which is the black seed uh, 26 patients each received one and two grams per day of the black seed respectively for three months along with maintenance in health therapy 
and they concluded that the group that received uh, black seed supplementation with inhaled maintenance therapy improved some measures of pulmonary function and inflammation in partly controlled asthma. So there is more information here, but including a significant increase in FEF2575% and FEV1. I think I'm going to stop here today. So we looked at 10 clinical trials and probably I'll just do a part two or even part three, if possible, to look at more uh, clinical trials. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and turn on notification. Be sure to share your experience below if you are using the black seed now or if you have used it in the past. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.